Hello, everybody, and welcome to this presentation. My name is Lee Snyder, the product manager for the Steel segment here at Trimble. And today I want to introduce two new features that we've added to the contextual toolbar in Tech Structures version 2021. So this project that I'm using is a BIM award submission from Waddell Detailing, and I wanted to use it to highlight how these new improvements can work on your production model. So the first one that I'm going to show is our new view depth clip planes. And to introduce that, I'm working here in an elevation view, and there's certain things that I want to look at. And as I zoom in, you can notice that there's some members that are skewed or angled in relation to my view plane. If I rotate this around, you can see that in a more dramatic fashion. Um, when this view was created, it was right along this column plane, as you can see here. But anything that's skewed or angled that passes through that view plane, in the model views, Tecla is going to show the full length of the member, as you can see here. When working in views, sometimes that's not ideal and it can clutter up things. So that's why we've added these two new buttons here within the contextual toolbar. The first is to add or update the view depth clip planes. So when I click this, what it's going to do is it's going to look at these values six, six inches down and six inches up, and it's going to put in clip planes to shrink my view down to specifically match what my view depth is. So if I go ahead and click on that, you can see all of the information that it removes, allowing me to more easily work with this model view. So if I go back to my plan view, I'll slide this out of the way. Then as I zoom in, I'm looking right along that view plane and everything that's beyond the six inches has been removed from the view. So now I can zoom in on this plate. This is a really unique plate with an otter cutout in it. So if I needed to pull dimensions or interact with this in any way, uh, I have the ability to do that in a more uncluttered manner. So if I rotate this back around, I can show you how this other button works. So right now, if I click this, I can remove the view depth clip planes, and then it will restore the view to the way that it originally looked. If you want to make any adjustments to that, you certainly can. So if I go ahead and add those clip planes back in, you can see that it's looking six inches down and up and removing that material if i come in and adjust this so i'll go ahead and put these at 36 inches and now if i zoom back in you can see that those clip planes are still there at the six inches but if i come in and click this button it will update them to match the view plane settings that i now have making it adaptable to the settings that i have in the contextual toolbar or if i were to change them here within the dialog box it will then also read those as well. Then I can come back and simply update those and continue to make any changes. So real nice and easy to interact with. One note is that these do these clip planes are different than traditional clip planes. So if you zoom out and look at the full clip plane, you can see that there's no scissor icon like the traditional ones where we could select them and delete them or click and drag them. All of the interaction is handled here through this contextual toolbar. So if you want to remove them, just go ahead and click the remove button and they'll be removed from your view. So there's one feature uh, that's been added to the contextual toolbar. The other one relates to individual objects and assemblies. So let me rotate this around and I'll show you what I mean. If I wanted to take a look at this specific plate and view the drawing or create a drawing of it, we've added commands to the contextual toolbar allowing you to do that. So here, if I click this button, it will list any single part, assembly, multi-drawing, or cast student drawing that's already been created. And if I click on that, it will go ahead and launch that drawing so that I can easily see that here within the drawing editor. So if I needed to add dimensions or check the bill material, I can do that directly from the model. That saves me time from opening up the document manager, filtering by the model objects that I have selected to find the drawing, uh, or the reverse, open up the document manager to select the drawing, highlight where that is in the member, this streamlines that workflow. I also have the ability to show the drawings for selected objects. So if I click on this, what it will do is it will open up the document manager with that specific drawing or drawings already filtered out. So I can interact with them in the document manager if needed. And then the other commands are if I don't have drawings created, I can choose this to create a single part drawing or to use this to create an assembly drawing. So the goal is to make it easier to interact between the model and the drawings here within the 
the contextual toolbar. So one last example that I'll show if I come down and click on this base plate, you can see here that we have the single part drawing already created. Here's the assembly drawing. If I click on show drawings for selected objects, it'll filter those out. And now I can use and interact with those as required on my project. So these are the two improvements that we've made to the contextual toolbar. Again, these are available in Tecla Structures version 2021. As always, we encourage you to try them out, send us any feedback that you may have, and we hope you enjoy this new development.